As we are told, there are many times that uh, certain plants, certain animals, they communicated their purpose for being among us. And so it was at some times that uh, the five-fingered being made some agreement that they would be used for certain purposes, that they would not be abused. <laughs> ネガンダハンネオティニガスフードネガサニエダンネヒキエヤティアハネニギセトロユアティヒキイテゴエヤチョンエサペテネニギエヤティエヤセサティエパカイキテクネサイバアティキテクネディエヤティパアティキンシイ
also the the uh, the other sage in that I don't use that very much and they grow at various elevation they don't just grow at this anywhere uh, like right here we have more abundance of the old man sage than we do this particular type of sage you get down there just a little bit lower and uh, maybe uh, 500 feet lower and you get the regular sage and they're just they grow very thick but also they they only grow in, a, in the lower areas where there's a lot of uh, moisture in the ground and they, it is that uh, I understand that when they have that type of uh, soil that it is also very good for uh, planting other types of uh, of uh, plants and plant foods and that it is that uh, they have enough moisture in the ground so they do can do dry farming but there are other plants and then other places than that they actually have to water the plants uh, manually but uh, as I say in the lower areas and that that uh, had a lot of uh, moisture in the ground and that's where the sage does very well and the other one the other old man sage it grows at a higher altitude and it, it does very well it's not very robust you might say but it is that uh, if you need it you can find where there are good patches of it at uh, different elevations and so we are here at, the, at a higher elevation and it's really amazing just a few hundred feet down lower there's a lot of this particular sage the regular sage and it's very uh, established and it grows in great numbers but this is the uh, the regular sage and as I say there's uh, lots of uses for it from washing the body and using it, using it in ceremonial setting and particularly in the sweat lodge and um, you can just go ahead and chew some of this they used to say uh, sometimes you know if you had um, some type of halitosis they say go eat some sage and uh, that was sort of a remedy uh, to uh, anyway bad breath but uh, as I say there's many uses for the sage and there are certain prayers on that that are said to each plant as we are told there are many times that uh, certain plants certain animals they communicated their purpose for being among us and so it was that sometimes that uh, the five-fingered being made some agreement with the plants and the animals and the birds and the insect that they would be used for certain purposes that they would not be abused and the other thing that i need to make people aware of is whenever you use herbs you don't use it in a way that is very strong and you try to choke it down you water it down you thin it out so that you can uh, take it into your mouth and swallow it and um, you don't have to take it full strength that's sometimes very complicated and it's the same thing with the sage you don't have to make it really strong if it is kind of strong tasting you can add water to it and kind of thin out the flavor or the uh, the, the bite of the, uh, the drink and that's the way you use it you don't uh, force yourself and gag yourself when you're using these things and so those are the things that we are told uh, we're in an area now we're a little bit uh, we're a little bit lower in elevation and so there's a lot more uh, uh, sage and there's a lot more uh, other types of bushes than that that are uh, of interest to uh, Diné. And um, we can, if we could get the uh, a shot of some of the uh, what probably is called rabbit brush. To us, that Chilidiesi uh, is what we call it, and Chilidiesi is a uh, it's kind of a an interesting uh, plant because if you get bit by a, uh, a bug an ant or something and it uh, is irritating you can actually take some of that uh, and crush it up and uh, but to do it is to crush it up sometimes you can put a little bit of saliva on it and uh, rub it and then put it on your bite and uh, it'll make the pain go away they say don't put it in your mouth or it'll make your mouth go numb I have done it before <laughs> just to learn that it does numb your mouth and they say that that can be used for uh, tooth pain uh, and they don't uh, recommend that you swallow it and so that's one herb here 
But this here is the actual uh, more healthy looking uh, male uh, sage. And you notice it has some of the, uh, the flowers and it blossoms out, but it does not blossom out as fully as the female sage. And so there are some female sage uh, plants, but uh, this here is the, uh, the male sage. And right over here to the side of it is the uh, other type of sage I was mentioning earlier. This is a very poor uh, looking uh, old man sage. And uh, it is uh, completely different, but they are used generally in the same way, but more abundantly we use the, uh, the male or the female regular sage. Now this here is uh, Chililiesi. And this is a plant I was talking about that has uh, a numbing effect. So if you get bit by uh, an ant, you just take some of these leaves and crush it up. And then you actually apply it to the bite to where you've been bitten. And uh, like I say, you can put a little bit of saliva on it and uh, that will do it. Uh, but again, they don't recommend putting it in your mouth unless it was that you had a very painful tooth or something, you could put it on there. But that's... Uh, the way that is used. Well, how much would you put into like uh, make a tea out of? When you mix it with uh, into uh, a tea, you can actually you can make it really strong. Or if you don't want to make it really strong, just use a little bit of it. If you only want to make a quart of it, probably a small uh, bunch of it would be um, maybe. If it was just the leaves that you were using, you could probably have uh, maybe two tablespoons in a quart bottle and just let it seep. You can put it in sunlight and just let it seep overnight and that will make it really uh, strong enough to, uh, to drink. But you can drink it straight like that with two tablespoons of the, just the leaves or you can uh, make more, maybe even a gallon like uh, we used to do. We used to put a whole bunch of it into uh, a gallon bucket and just let it sit and uh, sometimes we would maybe put hot water into the, uh, the bucket and then just uh, put a good handful, a big, good, good handful of the leaves into the, the bucket and let it seep. And that's what we would use for the uh, sweat lodge drinking. And uh, in the sweat lodge, you don't uh, thin it out. You drink it full strength and, uh, and then go into the sweat lodge. Every time you come out, then you rehydrate. And uh, that was very necessary and the um, washing after you got through you would uh, of course rinse yourself off with uh, the sage uh, sage bath and uh, and then of course uh, in just your daily life you can have uh, a little bit of sage you can put the washcloth in it and just uh, wash your face and your hands and uh, the other thing is they would tell us don't ever forget your feet wash your feet and that was uh, necessary when you were going hunting and you would even put a little bit of this in your uh, shoe. When you put your shoes on, you'd put uh, a little bit of uh, leaves of the uh, sage into your shoe when you were going hunting. And incidentally, this particular uh, sage I'm holding is male. This is the male sage. When we come to using it, usually we mix the male and the female, but you can use it each uh, individually. You can use just the male sage or you can use the female sage. That doesn't matter. Uh, it's a lot better, I think, just to combine or uh, you can use, use either one of them individually, the male or the female. Do they do anything with the bark? Uh, the, the bark on this uh, particular plant, um, the time when we ought to, when a person wants to use it to smudge, do a, uh, a smudging, where you have coals and that, and then you put the, uh, the leaves of the uh, sage, uh, it, probably a good thing to include some of the uh, the branches on that uh, break it up pretty good and even the bark on some of this it has a uh, well it uh, you want to compare it to a juniper bark it's kind of like that but it's really quite stiff and it's fibery of course and uh, you can add that to your smudging uh, when you do that the bark and the small twig but if uh, if you can break it up fine enough you can use the uh, the bigger branches than that in doing that. I can pull off a whole uh, bunch of uh, bark uh, off of this uh, particular uh, sage, sage plant. But uh, that's the way that we can use it.
Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. Okay.